two more characters help to tell the story of Proper Goodbye. Listen to how their lives were changed. My name is Vincent Bostick, and my life was changed by a secret buried in the cemetery. So much was set in motion the night a woman collapsed in my arms on the doorstep of the hospice I operate. She gripped my arm with a strength only the dying can possess, and I promised to keep her secret. She told me her true name was Abigail Walker. For weeks I felt the weight of my promise turn to regret. I allowed her alias, Terry Miller, to follow her to her gravestone. I went to B.B. Walker, Abigail's daughter, but was met with the apathy of a minister who had just given the church back to God. On and on I lived in Larkspur with Abigail's husband Cliff and his ongoing innocence. Pushing again, B.B. finally came home. We broke the belated news to Cliff that his wife was buried in the very cemetery he tended as caretaker. He did not take it well. My name is Cliff Walker, and my life was changed by a secret buried in the cemetery. In my own living room, I received the news my daughter Bibi and her friend Vincent kept from me for months. My wife Abigail died in the local hospice after a 30-year absence and was buried in the cemetery I cared for under a gravestone chiseled for Terry Miller. I charged straight to that grave. Once there, my anger abandoned me. I found I desperately wanted to hold something in my arms, draw something of substance to my heaving chest. My arms and heart ached with the need that something should exist between them. Why didn't you ask for me? Why come back, Abigail, just to do this? Only silence rang in my ears. Mm -hmm.